Hey guys, I'm Dan and welcome back to another video. Okay, so let's enter the basement Dino Dungeon. Okay, so this is basically my studio where I display all my dinosaur figurines as well as my animal figurines. Okay, so today what we have right here is actually a um, new box of um, sea animals. I got this online. Hopefully, it's some really nice figures that we can actually keep in our collection. So this is basically the place where I keep all my animal figurines inside drawers. Not the best, I mean all my figures like dinosaurs are displayed really nicely in the shelves but we don't have like enough space for the animal figurines, okay? I think that is fine. So what we'll do right now is that we'll open up the box and review the figures, okay? So let's get started. Okay guys, so let's have a look at this, okay? So this is basically... There's no brand to this. It's basically just written as SeaWorld. So there's no brand. There's no um, commercialization right over here. Okay, so let's just have a look at this box. Okay, guys, so I'll just show you around, you know, my studio. So yeah, you guys should know that I'm a huge dinosaur fan. But today, our main focus will be on this new box of sea animals. So let me get, um, you know, my trusty pair of box cutter. I mean, if you are a kid, I mean, I do know that some kids watch my videos. Um, please be really careful when you're using a box cutter, you know, have your parents to help you. But if you are an adult collector like myself, you can ignore my advice, but please be careful at the same time. Wow, this looks pretty cool. Okay, so every single sea animal, it's actually nicely wrapped inside this little plastic um, sheet and you can see I think this it's a what is this I mean it does looks like a great white shark but great whites they don't have spots they don't have spots on his body so this is kind of weird spots reminds me of a um, whale shark so I mean what do you guys think is this like a great white it looks kind of weird I mean the mouth you can see is like Kind of weird. Okay, so let's have a look at this. Okay, this one, it's a Halicoprion for sure. It's not exactly a um, shark. It's more like a, if I'm not wrong, it is a prehistoric um, sea animal. We do have a Halicoprion right here. So check this out. This is actually a, um, where's our Halicoprion? I think it's inside. I think we have one Helicoprion. Yeah, I think this is this is it. This is the one Helicoprion. Okay, so yeah, the mouth is like really weird. It has like a you know like a circular kind of um a blade like teeth. Okay, so these figures are pretty cool. They are like stretchy. Yeah, very cute and adorable. I must say. All right, the next one. Let's see. What is this? Let's see what this is. This is definitely a um, great white shark. I mean, if you take a look at the mouth, yeah, this is the mouth of a great white. I mean, it could be a goblin shark, but it's more of a great white because the body is like so um, buff. Yeah, it's kind of like thick. Very cute. I mean, it's like soft and squishy, and it feels like there are like styrofoam balls inside. Okay, pretty cute looking, I must say. I wouldn't recommend this as collector's items, definitely. I wouldn't be displaying this figure for sure because I don't think they look that nice, okay? Next one. I think this is a black tip reef shark. I think so. Pretty sure this is a black tip reef shark. Yeah, because you can see the fins are actually painted in black. So yeah, I think it could be a black tip reef shark. Kind of stretchy as well, so you can listen to it. Yeah, it's kind of nice, nice and cute. Okay, so let me place all the figures right over here. Let's see, what else we've got? How about this one? Wow, okay. I mean, the stripes, by the look of the stripes, it should be, okay, it should be a tiger shark. I think this is most likely a tiger shark. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm wondering whether we can actually, like, you know, play with these figures while we are in the pool. Probably, I think they could float. I think they should float. Yeah, because they are kind of light and um, very stretchy and um, rubbery. Okay. Um, so, I'm going with Tiger Shark for this. Let's see what else we've got. I think this is basically like a box of um, sharks, basically. Let's see what this is. But definitely when I purchase it, um, you know, the photo, the photo that we were looking at, they definitely look much better than um, this. This one... It's hard to really gauge. I think this is a blue shock. I think so. I think it should be a blue shock. This one right here, I think it's um you guys are able to guess it like right away. It's basically a hammerhead shock for sure. 100%. Hammerhead shock. Very nice. I think so far this is the best looking one. I like this one as well, the blue one. But of course, they don't look as great. Oh my goodness, what happened? A piece of um, the shark just came off. <laughs> so these are really like poor quality sharks. I mean, if you take a look at the box, it looks kind of... um, doesn't look premium, okay? I don't want to use the word, you know, degrading word, degrading words to describe this set of um, figures, but they definitely do not look premium at all. They look kind of... um, Yeah, very cheap looking, I would say. Yep. So, hammerhead shock, nice. Let's see, what, 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 what do we've got here? Okay, it's a brown shock. Um, it also have like a teeth, is that a teeth? A tooth. Um, well, to be honest, I have no idea what this is. I mean, if you take a look at this, there is like okay. This is not a this is not a tooth. Okay, this is a brown shark. Mm, the tip of this shark is kind of like curved as well, so it looks kind of weird. I am going with oh my goodness, I have no idea what this is, guys. What shark is this? A bull shark. A bull shark is not brown in color for sure. Sand tiger shark, probably, probably. Let's see what else we got. Okay. Another shark that doesn't really that doesn't really look like you know any specific species. Um probably a bull shark. Yeah, probably. Okay. Let's see what else we've got. Wow, this one looks very very cool guys. It's like translucent. Oh my goodness, I think this is probably a a ghost shark. I am not sure guys, I have no idea what they are. But, um, I mean if you ask me, these are basically a set of really fun looking shots, but they look kind of, um, I mean, they are not the best quality. You can see the paintwork is actually quite bad. Um, yeah, it's, it's quite badly made. It's like really poor quality figures, I would say. But overall, yeah, I think they look kind of cute and nice. So what do you guys think of this? Okay, I mean, they're definitely not the usual kind of um, sharks that you can find from like Safari, LTD, Collecte, um, stuff like that. Yeah, but let's just have a quick look at this. So I think let's just call this a great white. Oh, maybe this is the Megalodon. Let's call this the Megalodon, okay? Megalodon. This is 100% hammerhead shark. We, we, we all can agree to this. This one, um, I think this is a whale shark. It's just a very badly made whale shark. Okay, let's just call this a whale shark. This is 100% a helicoprion. Okay, so this one is actually looking pretty decent as compared to the rest. This is um, most likely a tiger shark because of the stripes on its body. So we can all agree that this is a tiger shark. Um, this shark right here, it has like black tips all over the fin, so this is more, most likely a black tip reef shark, very very highly likely. Um, since we are calling this a um, great white shark, let's just call this a, um, I mean we are calling this a megalodon, so we can just call this a great white shark, okay? This one, it's, 
Okay, maybe we can call this a grid white and this on a blue shock. How about that? I think, I, I think that makes more sense. This one is a brown color one. I would say that this is more likely a uh, sand tiger shock. No, a sand. Um, yeah, I mean a sand shock. I, I don't know whether there's a shock called sand shock, but I know that it is a sand tiger shock, but it doesn't have any stripes. Or well, it could be a lemon shark, but the colors are a bit more towards the brown. This one, uh, yeah, I have no idea. I think it's supposed to be a ghost shark, probably. Okay, so yep. So these are basically a box of um, sharks that I've just purchased. And um, to be honest, I'm disappointed with the quality, but at the same time, it's kind of fun and squishy, okay? Thanks for watching this video. I hope to see you guys in the next one. Let me know down below like which other videos you guys want me to make. Do you guys want me to make like, you know, safari animals, sea animals and stuff like that? Let me know down below, okay? Thanks for watching this. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.